Welcome to this Lee Daniels art tutorial, animating machine gun shake in After Effects. Here's the Al Pacino character from the Star Wars spoof I made for the MASH channel on YouTube. This is just a quick tip to show one way of creating an adjustable shake during machine gun fire. First of all, I'll hide and shine the production elements, so we turn off the muzzle flash so we can see what we're doing. The moving parts are made up of five elements, the gun, the forearms and the upper arms. First of all, I just shy the gun artwork and then create two null objects. One for each wrist. I'm going to call these wrist left and wrist right. And then I'm going to parent the left wrist to the left forearm and the left forearm to the left upper arm. And then same for the right, you parent the right wrist to the right forearm and the right forearm to the right upper arm. Then we just select both wrist nulls and over in the Duic Tools panel hit controllers. And this will create an IK controller for each wrist. So now what we need to do is create an IK chain for each arm. So starting with the left arm and in this order, select the left wrist, the left forearm, the left upper arm and the left controller. And then over in the Duic panel hit IK and click OK. This sometimes happens when creating an IK chain, the elbow is created backwards. It's not a problem, just select the controller and then in the effects panel, click the orientation checkbox and it'll put it back to normal. So now we do the same for the right arm. Select the right wrist, the right forearm, the right upper arm, and then the right controller in that order. Over in the Duke panel, click IK and press OK. So now if we just test those IK chains and move them around, you'll see that we've created an IK chain for the left and right arm. And now all we need to do is unshy the gun and then select both controllers and parent them to the gun. So if we just select the gun layer, hold down shift and press P and R to bring up the position and rotation parameters for the gun, we're going to apply a wiggle expression to the position and rotation. Hold down the ALT key and click the position stopwatch to create an expression and then type in wiggle brackets 15 comma 150. And then the same for the rotation, hold down the ALT key and click the stopwatch and type in wiggle brackets 20 comma 10. And you should have something like this. You'll need to adjust these digits depending on your size of artwork, but just play around with the numbers until you've got something that looks right. Right, that's the end of this tutorial. Please subscribe to my Lee Daniels Art YouTube channel where you'll find examples of some of my animated shots, client work, and news about upcoming tutorials. Thanks for watching.